I had a Valentine's Day day date, and a couple of weeks later, got a call and just had to tell me something, and he couldn't say what it was. That call forever changed Stephen Vargas's life. She just says, "No hay vergüenza en ser VIH positivo means there's no shame in being HIV positive." The 53-year-old has been living with HIV for nearly half his life. I was a young gay kid in Montrose, uh, and so tried everything you can to not get HIV, being selective with your partners and using condoms and everything, but every once in a while, something would slip by. Vargas says he was already familiar with HIV in the 90s. Both his mother and stepfather had been living with the virus, but due to the strong stigma around HIV in the Hispanic and Latino communities, his partner still struggled to tell Vargas he was positive. People are dealing with more than just the taboo of talking about uh, something like HIV, uh, what can lead to HIV, whether it's uh, sex with somebody of the same sex or sharing needles. That's another taboo aspect of it all. Hispanic and Latino communities are impacted by HIV at a disproportionate rate, according to HIV.gov. In 2019, the Hispanic and Latino population made up 29% of new diagnoses in the United States, according to the same report. The CDC says 23% of new HIV infections that year were among Latino men and bisexual men. In the city of Houston and Harris County is over 30,000 people that are living with HIV. Elia Chino is the executive director of Fundacion Latinoamericana de Acción Social, also known as FLAS. Chino says every year FLAS diagnoses a thousand Houstonians who don't know they're living with the virus. I may start FLAS because my best friends die from AIDS mm -hmm. and the families, they never say anything. Chino has been fighting to ensure Houston's Spanish-speaking community has access to resources, is encouraged to engage in healthier sexual behaviors, and takes advantage of prevention services. They are scared to get tested. I think we need to break in that barrier, the stigma about the HIV. Last November, FLAS partnered with the CDC to launch a new initiative called Project Vive, which translates to Project Life. It focuses on diagnosing the virus, treating it, preventing it, and responding so people can live. The first step, Chino says, is to have everyone know their status. After you know that you have the virus, you have to change your lifestyle. Vargas is a living testament that an HIV diagnosis is life-changing, not life-ending. There was a time when getting an HIV diagnosis really was distressing because it really did mean that it was a death sentence. These days, uh, people can live long, healthy lives uh, with HIV if you have access to medications and take them daily. The goal is to reduce the number of new HIV diagnoses to 3,000 by the year 2030. According to HIV.gov, FLAS tells us that the CDC is providing funding for Project Vive for five years. Reporting from Southwest Houston, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News.